Metabromics is a technology for comprehensive detection of chemicals in the samples. Metabromics is placed at the 1, 3, 4, 4th level of the omics layer. One big difference of the metabrom from the other omics is that it requires input, such as nutrient, signal molecule, and toxic chemicals, and so on. This is quite natural when we think about human metabolism, which is affected by the food intake and the activity of enterobacteria. Also, foods are derived from carbohydrate, photosynthesized by plants, and many organisms are involved in the conversion of the organic compounds to make big diversity of chemicals. So, even when you study about a specific organism, you have to consider this dynamic chemical flow in the nature. And also, various industries are built on this fundamental. So, metabolome analysis is one of the promising technologies to monitor this chemical flow precisely. I'll talk about the technological aspect of metabolome. As you know, number of chemicals is very huge. In the chemical abstract service, more than 144 million chemicals are registered. And also, it is estimated that more than 1 million compounds are potentially produced in the plant kingdom. Chemicals have wide diversity in their chemical properties, such as, uh, such as hydrophobicity, volatility, and so on. So there is nothing technology that can capture complete metabolism. To detect the chemicals with such a huge number and wide diversity, mass spectrometry is often used in metabolomics. MS can measure the molecular weight, which is the common feature of all chemicals having, and MS is applicable for high slipped analysis by their high sensitivity. Nuclear magnetic resonance NMR is also used. NMR is advantageous for determining the chemical structure. Therefore, these two instruments are used complementary. Today I'll talk about MS based metabolomics. MS is usually used in a combination of separation technology such as liquid chromatography, LC gas chromatography, LGC, and capillary electrophoresis, CE. The preferences of the compounds for separation are different from each other. Among them, LC is suitable for separating complex natural products such as secondary metabolites synthesized in the plants, and therefore often used for the exploratory studies. As I told, MS measures mass values of the ions. In addition, MS has two other functions. Those are selecting and cleaving the ions. This slide shows the triple quadruple type MS. The ion, for example, a molecule with mass value of 565 is selected at the first stage cleaved in the second stage by a collision to the to inactive gas, and then the third stage, the mass value of the cleaved fragment are measured. This fragmented information is called MSMS -MS spectrum. In the case of the ion trap type MS, the cycle of selection, cleavage, and measurement can be repeated multiple times. In this case, the molecule of 565, the MS spectrum for fast cleavage is obtained, and then next fragment with the 271 is selected, cleaved, and measured again. Then and there are they, these are called MS2 and MS3 spectrum, respectively. The MS spectra contains the information of substructure of the original molecule, so the approaches to predict the original molecule based on the MS spectrum have been studied actively. 
This slide shows the strategies of MS spectra based structures prediction. Most basic one is collection of MS spectra obtained from the measurement of authentic standards. The libraries, NetBank, NIST, and the website, as website MZ Crowd is categorized here. But the availability of authentic standards is quite limited. So other approaches to enlarge the library size based on the chemical structures abundantly stored in the compound databases are proposed. For the creation of the virtual spectral database, machine learning technologies, and the calculation of chemical bonds energy are applied. And in recent years, empirical rules for the cleavage of the molecules in the specific compound categories are applied too. First good example for this is the lipids. And also we developed a prediction system for flavonoids.